Hey everybody, this is Jake from Longtail Pro. Uh, thanks for checking out the product, uh, whether you're taking a free trial or purchasing. I'm just going to show you quickly how you can download the software and get your initial setup going. Um, so you should have received an email to the email address you use when purchasing from ClickBank. Um, so if you paid with PayPal, uh, that would be your PayPal email address for that account, or you may have entered uh, your preferred email address at the time of purchase. One way or the other, you should receive that email, um, which will take you to this page here, where you can download the software. Uh, so when I click on download the software, it's going to give me a zip file um, with the latest version of Longtail Pro. In this case, I'm on 3.0.5. Uh, when I open that up, I'm on a Mac, as you can probably see, uh, but this will obviously work for Windows as well and be a very similar process. Um, but when I unzip that, I am going to have this .air file here, and that's the program. Um, so as a prerequisite, uh, you do need to get, if you don't have already on your computer, um, Adobe Air installed, and that's a free download. Um, so go do that if you haven't done it at this point, or you can click, and obviously your, your computer will tell you if you don't have what you need to, to run this file. Um, so I'm just going to double click on that. And then it should install the application. In my case, I already had a version installed, so I'm just going to click on Run Now. Um, but yours will prompt you to, in it, uh, to go ahead and install the software there. Um, or if you had an older version, it would prompt you to update it. So whatever is true, um, just go ahead and click on that prompt to Run Now. And then your software will start to open up. Um, and I'll show you a couple of the, the first steps that you'll need to take. All right. so. Um, if you've not used the software ever before, um, up here on the left is where you can create projects, which are just a way um, to categorize your keyword searches. So I already have a test project set up. But if you didn't have anything, you can click on this plus sign here to create a new project. Call it whatever you'd like. Um, could be you know the subject of, of the keywords that you're doing or the name of your site that you're doing research for, something like that. That's what you'll do. Um, and then the next thing, um, just to show you real quick is you're going to want to link uh, your Google account and also a Moz account to this um, as that will help you find more keywords um, and then also do the analysis as it comes later. So just to show you how you would do that, you can start off by um, putting in your first seed keyword. And so I'm just going to do this very simple here. And this is what's going to prompt me to sign into my Google account. So when I do that first search for keywords. Um, it's going to ask me to sign in, which I'll go ahead and do. And then if you check this box at the top, it'll save your login credentials so you don't have to do this every time you open up the software. And that's basically just going to let um, Longtail Platinum pull the data that it needs from Google by doing that. Alright, so I did that. Now it's going to go ahead and finish generating my keywords. The next thing that you need to do is to link a Moz API account, um, and that may or may not mean a whole lot to you, but I can assure you that it's free and it's pretty simple to set up. Um, so just to show you what that looks like on the Moz side, Moz is um, basically a, a service where we pull in the data that you're going to use for your competitive analysis. So without doing this step, the competitor analysis, which is one of the keys to long tail platinum, isn't going to work. Um, so you definitely need to do this before you really get in and and start analyzing some things. Um, so if you Google Moz API or something like that, it, it'll take you right here. And if you don't have an account with them, much like a Google account or whatever, you can just sign up um, so you have a login there. It's a free account for this. And then once you're on the Moz API, you can go to get started here on the left. And then if you click on this Manage Mozscape API key, it's going to give you what you need. So I'm going to go back and show you. You'll have an access ID and an API key, which is you know private just for you to use. Um, so that when you go to that next screen, you'll see that. And then when I go back to Longtail Platinum, this is where I would plug that in. So up on the top right, I've got a little uh, settings icon. You can see that it saved my Google credentials from when I signed in there a moment ago. And then the SEO credentials it asks for here, you click on link um, to an SEO Moz account. And then this is where I would enter in my access ID and my secret key. So again, this is going to be unique for the user. Um, but you would just copy and paste that from the screen I showed earlier on your Moz account. Hit submit, and it'll save that in the system. And again, these are both one-time things. Um, so each time you sign in in the future, that stuff will already be saved for your account. You can just get in and start generating 
and analyzing keywords. Um, so for more, uh, you know, just check out the rest of our demo videos and we'll go into more depth about how to create campaigns, how to manage keywords, etc. Uh, but this should be all you need to be up and running and start generating those keywords.